Since I was 12, you have spoken to me, God. You have given me the hope and the desire that I need to keep moving on. Even though I was close to give up, you lifted me up and gave me strength. I have done all that you asked for me after this point. Why have you brought the evil heart to my village? Why have you destroyed all that I know? Have I done something to anger you? Or is this a sign? Has this been your plan all along? Please, Lord, give me some strength once again to overcome my enemies. With you, all things are possible. I will defeat the English and bring Hollandess back to your name. As long as I am a woman, I will not be able to impact anyone. I feel as I am a grain of sand among the vast ocean floor, not noticing even by the smallest of fish. I must become the mighty whale and jump out from the sea. I must become something that I'm not. Be something that everyone will see. Be something that everyone will respect and follow. I must become a man. I am only 17 years old. But I already have achieved more than most men could achieve in their lifetime. With God as my shell and sword used by Charles, the hammer, I would fear no evil. His soft words give me hope when I feel all is lost. Each day gets harder and harder. I can feel the abuse that war is putting on my body. My arms are always aching with an unbearable pain. My feet are like stone beneath my legs. I have to ride a cannibal to the helmet, a crossbow to my leg, and yet I still manage to lead the French to victories. I see death all around me. I want to scream out and cry to my God. I want to fall to my knees and let the enemy take me. I want all of the pain and suffering to end. It would be so easy to just give up, to stop trying, but I can't. I must continue to hide my emotion and hide my feelings from the world. I must continue to be a leader and a good role model for those who are weaker than I am. For they do not have what I have. They do not have God on their side. My enemy has captured me. I am waiting my ending in the darkness. But even in the dark, the Lord shows me the light. He continues to give me hope. I will not give up. They think that I'm a witch. They accuse me of something that I have not done. I have walked this earth of non-believers with the light of God on my side. And yet, the very evil that I am fighting against points its finger of hatred and destruction towards me. I do not know what will become of me, but I know that my death will not be my way. God has not forsaken me, and He will not abandon me. I feel that the end is near. The light at the end of the tunnel is approaching fast. I am not scared. I welcome this light. It is warm on my face. It let me know that the loving hand of God is welcoming me home. I stand before watching eyes, many of whom I once were friends with. Some I fought beside in the war. Some that I gave a helping hand to when they had nothing. This doesn't matter. I am a woman. I am an imposter and a witch in their eyes. They are blinded by what they do not understand. They allow evil to enter their hearts. They accept what is normal and everything that is out of the normal they reject. They hate the abnormal and immediately hide from it or when it. I stand here today awaiting my end. But it's not my end, it's only the beginning. Even in flames of the fire, my name will live on. I know well that these English will put me to death, because they think that after I'm dead, they will win the kingdom of France. But even if there were a thousand hundred more Golems than there are now, still, they will never have the kingdom.